What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape products from Amazon automatically by creating a simple workflow in any time. Let's get started. To scrape products from Amazon automatically, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects. So to get 30% off your first purchase of this tool, just click the link down below in the description then go ahead and create an account in Amplify and after creating an account in Amplify, head over to Amplify store. Here, we're going to search for the website that we would like to scrape. In our case, we would like to scrape Amazon. And then here, I click on search. Since we would like to scrape products from Amazon, I'm going to use this tool right here. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. This is the tool that we're going to use to scrape products from Amazon. So all you have to do here is, is add a category or a product URL over here. And here you can add the maximum number of products that you'd like to scrape. You can try scraping only 20. And here you can add other settings over here, like the language, proxy, delivery location, or all the run options over here. But I'm going to leave everything as is. And now to scrape keyboards from Amazon, I'll click on start, save and start over here. Here, you can see that our tool is running and getting our data. Let's give it a second for it to scrape the keyboards for us from Amazon. You can see it successfully scraped the 20 products for us over here from uh, Amazon. So here, the product was a keyboard, you got the title, the brand, the stars, review count, picture thumbnail, category description, price, and the URL of the product over here. This is awesome. Now to get these products to our workflow right here in any channel, here, I'll click on API in the right, then I'll scroll where it says get data set items and copy this URL, go back to our workflow, and here I'll search for the HTTP request node, now I'll click on it, and paste the unique URL that we just copied right here, and click on execute step right here, and here you can see now we got the 20 products that we scraped using Appify right here, so when I click on table, I can scroll down below to preview the 20 products that we just scraped over here, so this is awesome. Now, instead of having to manually scrape the products using Appify over here and copying the dataset ID and coming and pasting it over here, for us to get the 20 items that we just scraped, we can automatically scrape the products right here in any time by creating a simple workflow. So to do that, here, I'll clear this URL and then I'll open Appify's documentation. And then here, I'll scroll down below to find the API that we'd like to call. Then I'll click on run after synchronously with input and get data set items. Then here, I'll copy the CURL over here. So I'll copy it, go back to our workflow, and then I'll click on import, import CURL, then the CURL that we just copied right here, and click on import. Here, we're going to add three items. First item that we're going to add is the actor ID. The second item that we're going to add is the API token, and the third is the JSON over here. So let us start by adding our actor ID. To get our actor ID, I'll go back to our tool, and then I'll copy the unique ID of this tool, which is in the search URL. So the unique ID is in the search URL. So copy it and then come and paste the unique ID here. And then we're going to add our API token right here. To get our API token, I'll click on settings. And then I'll click on API and integration. And here I'll click on create a new token and give it a description. For example, you can call the new API test. And then after it was created, I'll copy it. And then I'll paste our unique token right here. And then the last thing that we're going to add is a JSON over here. So on specify body, we're going to specify using JSON. And here we're going to add our JSON. To get this JSON, go back to our tool. We say it's manual and JSON. Click on JSON. And then here, I'll copy this JSON over here. So I'll copy it. Then I'll go back to our tool. And here I'll click on expression. Expand it right here so we can paste our JSON over here. And then here I'll click on back to canvas. And now here, since we've added our JSON, our token, and our actual ID, we can now try scraping the Amazon products using this simple workflow right here. So I'll open this node, and then I'll click on Execute right here to scrape the 20 products from Amazon. So you can see it's executing our node right here. And when we go back to our tool and click on Runs, 
can see we are running our tool in Appify from our workflow right here in Unitan. So as it's scraping our products, you know, from our JSON right here, you can see we are scraping 20 products from this category. So yeah, click on back to Converse, and you can see that our node was executed successfully. Over here, we got 20 items. So here we are outputting the title of the product, the URL, the unique ID of this product, the price and currency, the stars, reviews count, and all this relevant information right here, including features and more. This is incredible. So now since our node is working perfectly, I, I renamed this to Amazon Products Scraper. And here, I'll click on rename. And now, with our products over here, we can proceed to other products with Google Spreadsheet. So in Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Amazon Products. And this is a spreadsheet that we're going to add our products over here. So we're going to add the unique ID, title, brand, stores, reviews count, category, price, description, and the URL of the products over here in this spreadsheet. To do that here, I'll search for Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheets. And then here, click on Append Rolling Sheet. And here, you'll need to create a credential by clicking on create new credential right here and click on sign in with your google account and then on the new window that pops up choose the account that you like to connect to anytime by choosing your account your connection will be created here i'll close this and then i'll find our document right here close this spreadsheet and here our sheet is going to be the amazon products right here and now here we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet with the data of the product that we scraped using amplify for the unique id we're going to drag it right here title we're going to drag it over here brand we're going to drag it over here for the stars, you can choose to add the average stars, the stars over here. Reviews count. I'm going to drag it over here. For the category, we're going to drag it over here. Just for the category, I'll search for category. Category right here. Choose one of these categories. Do the best selling category right here. For the price, I'm going to drag the price right here. For the description, I'm going to search for description and add the description right here. This product. And lastly, we're going to add the URL of this product, which is this URL over here. And now to add our product to a spreadsheet, I'll click on execute right here. Can see that our node was executed successfully. Yeah, I renamed this to Amazon products. And here I'll click on rename. Now you open our spreadsheet. We can see the 20 product that we just created right here from Amazon. We were getting the unique ID, the title, brand, source, review count, category, price, description over here of each product, and the your and the product you're over here. So we scrape these products and added them to our spreadsheet using the simple workflow that we created right here in any time. Okay. So here we are scraping products from Amazon using this tool in Amplify. So this, this was the tool that we are using to scrape these products. And after we get the products, we are adding them to our spreadsheet to this spreadsheet over here. Now here we can try scraping a different category of products. So I'll open this node right here. Now I'll scroll down below to JSON. Expand it right here. Instead of keyboard, we can try to scrape cameras. So search for camera. You can try scraping, let's say, five cameras from Amazon. So here, I click on back to canvas. And then I click on execute workflow to scrape the cameras from Amazon and add the products to our spreadsheet. So here, you can see that our workflow is executing right here. So let's give it a second. You can see that our workflow is executed successfully. So now when I open this node, you can hear we successfully scraped five cameras from Amazon with their details. Then we added the products to our spreadsheet. Now when I open our spreadsheet, you can see we added five extra products over here. So here, add inside a row above to separate the two runs, so to separate the two product categories over here. So these are the keyboards and here are the five cameras that we added over here. We added the unique ID, the title, run, stars, review counts, category, price, description, and the products we are over here. So we've scraped all these products 
using the simple workflow that we created over here in Anytime. So our workflow works perfectly. Thank you for watching. Now, if you have a workflow or an AI agent that you that you'd like for me to create using Anytime, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments, and if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using Anytime. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.